It is. It is so surprising. Uh, you know to, what else is surprising that. is well, their wedding registry is online. Did you know that? <laughs> this is getting dangerously personal. Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst. It's, it's so I creepy. But their awful. wedding registry is up they're, from the knot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they yeah. have a wedding registry. Which is again, this is insane. Why? Like these are professional athletes. Why are we seeing their wedding registry? Yeah, it's there. It's like online, and and you could anyone could look at it. First of all, anyone could buy him anything. Yeah, well, maybe we should uh, we should get him something. The the we should buy him something from it. You yeah, know? why not? Why not? <laughs> Just give him a little gift from the cooligans. You're really uncomfortable I'm with all this so much because I this is awful. <laughs> I feel I'm a, I feel bad. <laughs> why are you so uncomfortable? <laughs> it's online for a reason. <laughs> Where are the Rebel fans? Why aren't they buying? What's the cheapest thing? Go go, go the other way. What's the cheapest the, thing on there? The cheapest thing. I think it's like one of those spatulas. The uh, there's a the cheapest thing is a uh, a fruit bowl. I mean, we were you know doing our podcast and uh, we were talking about uh, Dax McCarty getting traded and. Uh, I, we remembered uh, Christian and I were talking about how uh, his wife had posted uh, sort of a not so happy post on Instagram and we couldn't remember her name. We're looking and trying to find it on Instagram and all of a sudden we come across uh, their wedding registry. And at first it felt like, you know, we were invading somebody's privacy, you know, but we realized it's public for a reason. Um, he wanted people to obviously send him a gift. I got married, I remember we wanted gifts. The idea that Two comedians randomly find a soccer player's wedding registry and then send him a gift. Send the couple a gift. That's so stupid. That's such a stupid thing to do that we had to do it for that exact reason because it was so ridiculous. And then we went to go pay for it and uh, we realized that uh, the shipping was much more expensive than the actual item. So we had a, a second moment. Uh, so sort of think maybe we shouldn't do this. And uh, we did, we did do it. And uh, you know, we, we thought this would be wonderful and we thought we would, you know, hear back. Uh, and we just kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And we uh, took a while. But after months of not hearing back from Dax McCarty, we decided to go to Chicago for the MLS All-Star Game. And we only had one mission. We had one objective and that is to get Dax McCarty to say thank you for Fruit Bowl. Do you see Dax? I'm literally gonna go look for Dax. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey Dax, quick question. Uh, what was your favorite wedding gift? <laughs> the uh, Fruit Bowl. Yeah! <laughs> 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 That's the end of Dax Watch. <laughs> I, can I, it, I feel like I should give an acceptance speech. Oh my god, my heart is racing. My heart is racing. You might, I might cry. We did it. Yes, I'll you guys coming up. I mean, that was the whole purpose of this trip. <laughs> Playing for the Chicago Fire uh, after being traded, how important is it? Is it on the top of your list to try to win an MLS Cup? Would it mean a lot more for you if you were to win one this year with the Chicago Fire? I think that it's when every team starts their preseason on top of everyone's list is to win MLS Cup, and it's always on top of my list. It's the uh, it's a trophy that I haven't won yet in my career, and uh, a trophy that's really important to me personally, but also to uh, to, to our team. You know, I've I've been to an MLS Cup final and, and I lost, and that was a, a tough feeling. That was tough to get over. So certainly would mean a lot to me to win MLS Cup. It's in terms of would it mean any more this year? No, I think I would enjoy it just as much as I would have any other season that I played. Obviously, my first year with Chicago, <laughs> you want to cap the season off well and with a championship, and if that happens, uh, you know, then I'll, I'll be ecstatic. We're based in New York. As I know you lived in the city for a long time. Uh, you live in Chicago now. What do you think you miss the most about the city of New York? City of New York. Well, I, I, I love New York. I love the, uh, the electricity in the city. I love the vibes. I, I think the thing I miss the most is... Uh, 24-hour food whenever you want it. I mean, every literally your bodega, my bodega right across the street was open 24/7, and I could go there whenever I wanted for a smoothie or a bag, a bag of chips or. Do you, still, a, you remember your bodega guy's name? 
I don't. I remember my bodegas, Gourmet 157. Oh, yeah. right. Shouts to Gourmet 157. <laughs> my boys over there. What's the Thank best, you. just smoothies or you go sandwich? What was go your go-to sandwich, sandwich at a bodega? I, we, we had, they had good chicken cutlet. I mean, that's go. obviously yeah. the, you know, that's the go-to. <laughs> little mozzarella. Little fresh I mean, you, know, yeah, you go fresh mutts? Of course, of course little, I do. Uh, roasted pepper or a hot pepper? What do you, what do you? Uh, I like hot peppers, for sure. Yeah? That's, uh, yeah, a little mayo. Um, now you're making me hungry, man. I gotta but stop. we got to get a sandwich with Dax. Finally, stop. I gotta right, stop just finally uh, we're the ones who sent you the fruit bowl. Uh, we know. Know. <laughs> this has been a saga that has never ended for our fans. Make sure, make sure that uh, make sure that my wife sees this. So, yes. you know, okay. yes. she felt really bad about that whole thing. All right, we she's getting to... she's getting the thank you cards later. So yeah. this right. is my thank you. Thank you, we guys. Yeah. This is Yo, the closure we needed. Full of <laughs> full of bananas and apples and oranges. Is it? Oh my God! Does does it talk about us ever that fruit bowl? It really doesn't. It didn't like you guys. All right, Thank you, man. Jax. You heard it here first, guys. We got the thank you what? for the fruit bowl. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this was what the whole trip was about. That's it. We can go home. We don't have to see the All-Star I mean, game. forget it. You know, Real Madrid, who cares? We got Ralph fruit bowls, baby. I mean, we did what we came to do. Oh, my goodness. We're, I mean, this is it. I feel, you know? I feel like I could. I could if, I was, if there was a cup I could lift, if there was a fruit bowl I could lift. We should get. This is where, <laughs> We would have this is confetti. I would, I would do it. If confetti was allowed at Soldier Field, there would be confetti pouring over us. Uh, the fruit bowl saga has come to a wonderful closure. Oh. And guys, you know what sandwich Dax likes? <laughs> I mean, little, that, little mutts. Yeah. That was a nice uh, little nugget of information we didn't expect. Uh, I expected it. That's what I'm here to ask. Is what's everyone's favorite sandwich? Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to feel. I am really close to crying. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like how Kale reacted when she got to shake hands with Stephen Fry. Fry. Yeah, that was. I, my hands are shaking. I'm, I'm shaking. Yeah. Kale, what's up? That's her right there. Oh, oh, oh she just, just really just said that. Hi, Kale. How's it yeah. going? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for being a Sounders fan. Thanks for everything you just she said. Lives here. Uh, awesome. She lives here and is a massive Sounders cool. fan. Cool. Thanks, thanks for the love and the support. Really appreciate uh, it. Thanks for now becoming a, an American treasure. Yeah. <laughs> You're now an American treasure. How's it feel, dude? The only thing that's going to stop is holding a sandwich <laughs> from Gourmet 155. We love you guys. 157. We're going, we're going to Gourmet 157. And we're going to get the Dax McCarty. That's a promise to you guys.